Well, the fourth of Mark's five trainers in the spotlight after a pretty productive weekend is, unsurprisingly, Mark Johnston who had a terrific, or has had a terrific time of it lately, but that continued into the weekend. So Graham Wade was, um, well, just in, in tremendous form on Saturday, Mag, overcome dreadful trouble in running to win the Old Borough Cup. Prior to that, Prussian had won the day before, and Mark had, I don't know, three, four, five winners on Saturday. They were going in left, right and centre. They were, yeah, fantastic day. The, really, the, the theme here is is the, the three-year-olds that the yard have had yeah. this season. The fact that they're kept so busy, they, they seemingly thrive on the races, mm. they, they generally improve as well, and they seem to really progress when they go up in trip as well. So I picked out, uh, there's about 10 of them, just from just from this season alone, which have really thrived. So Graham Wade, he's a prime example. Prussian as well, who we see at Solwyn on Friday, and who's to say they, they won't win more races. And Sir Graham Wade looks the type of horse, if he keeps progressing the way he is, Mark, he could well sort of take high rank next season, higher rank than he is at the moment um, as a stayer. I'd, I'd agree with that, wouldn't be the, the biggest shock in the world if he ends up being a cup horse next season, because he's achieved so much in such a short space of time. He was off from sort of back end, I think back end of April till till the end of July as well, and, and he's, he's had four wins, or three wins since, I think. Things didn't happen in the Melrose for whatever reason, he didn't fire there, but he's overcome pretty pretty serious traffic problems to win on Saturday in the Old Borough Cup. You know, many jockey might have given up on him there thinking just got to say he hasn't got a clear passage with, um, and live for another day but he's got it got it some daylight on the outside he quickens up smile he's a good performance yeah he overcame trouble in running one horse that didn't by the way overcome trouble in running in this race was the old timer blue bajan who stayed on really well he never never got a run at all from about two out he goes to donny this weekend but back to the subject and which is mark johnson and his prolific winning three-year-olds there's sir graham wade four wins from seven races um, and his rating now nudging 100. Yeah, well, he won off 96. I haven't seen the... Um, I think I'll be out later today, won't it, the, the, um, the, the new rating for him. But as you say, it's sure to be at least 100 plus, I would have thought. Now, he's in the Mallard on Friday at Doncaster, so I would have thought there's every chance he could be turned out. But as I mentioned, he, he's a horse to look forward to next season when, it, when he goes two miles, two miles plus. He could be a really, a really exciting cup horse from a, a yard who've done so well of Excel with that type of horse in the past. Van Ellis, slightly different trip for him. He, he's been six, seven furlongs, even a mile type of horse but considering he didn't race as a two-year-old, again, he's made up for lost time. Yeah, I spoke to, to Jock Bennett about Van Ellis after he won that listed race at, at Chester, and, and you know he recalled this horse started his career, as you say, didn't run as a two-year-old. His first run was in one of those big sales races at Newmarket, and he was still in front about a furlong down. He ran a blinder for us having his first run, because they are competitive races. Yeah, he did. That, that was an excellent start to his career. As I say, he, he's shown his versatility, because he, he won the Sky Bet Dash, didn't he, at York mm. over six, and then, as you say, won a listed race at, at Chester over seven. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. Let's take a look at the next list, and the next list will include the horse we've touched on already is Prussian, and there's another tough first uh, horse up at the top there, Fulbright. Yeah, ran well on, on, on the weekend again in Patton Company, won the big bet Fred Marlett, glorious Goodwood as well. Uh, had a busy campaign, but he's, he's gradually progressed. Prussian we've touched on, she, she also didn't race as a, as a juvenile started winning handicaps off 78 and then she wins here off 96 she, as we all know she was well in on friday compared to what she will be racing off in the future but and, and franny norton had to sit and suffer for a few strides but once she gets out she wins well she does win well and, and and mark came on and did an interview with me afterwards and you could tell that this was a filly that that he admired he admired her, her, her willing spirit and, and 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 the fact that she wanted to win she oh, she definitely did because she, the time before at sandown she didn't she didn't get out in time labyrintho got first run on her and then she made up a lot of ground but didn't quite get there and he looked for a few seconds or a similar story might happen at haydock on friday but thankfully she got out she won well and again in in typical stable fashion she's in at Newmarket, sorry, Doncaster on Saturday over a mile and a half, an indication of, of a versatility. She's never won over the trip in the past, but she's only tried it a couple of times, but she's, she's obviously thriving. Mm, without a doubt, and Scatter Dice obviously is, 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 is another one. On races, a juvenile, four four wins from, from 12 races. I mean, that also tells you that Mark doesn't wrap these horses in cotton wool. That's what good trainers um, tend to do. They just, if they're ready to run and, and, and they're fitting well and thriving, uh, they're run there's no races or prize money to be won at home 12 starts this season but four wins and has had a productive uh, campaign yeah it's a case of um, 
keep, keeping keeping them busy and running them before they get reassessed as well, trying to get another win. Scattered ice. I think she won. Did she win the Muscleborough Gold Cup or mm. the Edinburgh Gold Cup yeah. in the middle of the summer as well? Yeah. So she too has won a big prize. Yeah, and that's a race that Mark tends to, uh, I wouldn't say target, but he tends to have horses, good horses for that type of race, yeah. and it's a it's a hell of a good prize. It is, and he usually has multiple runners in the race, so she, she's she's also made rapid progress. Yeah, let's take a look at um, the next list of the Mark Johnston horses, uh, three-year-olds, prolific winning three-year-olds, and there's another five times winner, courtesy Call. Another winner on Saturday. He he won at uh, he won at Haydock at the, at the weekend. Um, he he definitely started life at the right end of the handicap, but he's he's progressed through the ranks. You wouldn't have him in the same category as probably Prussian Sigrain Wade or, or Van Ellis, but he he's done his stuff. He's been well placed. He's, he's so many of these who who hint at ability as two-year-olds of those that have raced so far are usually middle distance bred. They get them they get themselves on a good mark, and then when they go a mile and a half plus, they really thrive. But, you know, they're, they're good individuals with good pedigrees and, 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 you know, as you say, Marcus, they're stepping up and learning their job and, and, and you know, they've a fair bit of scope, haven't they, provided yeah. the ability's yeah. there, of course. I'm not making it sound easy because it isn't, but, you know, there's, they've a lot going from ticks in all the right boxes. Yeah. And, and Fennel, Bay, Fennel Bay would be a, a prime example about the trip as well, because I think, was it the week before or last, he was winning at Sandown over a mile, and then seven days later, or, or six or seven days later, he goes to Royal Ascot, goes up to a mile and a half, and wins the wins King George the Fifth handicap. So that just shows his versatility trip-wise, hence he stayed ahead of the handicapper. And quite a few of the horses we've, we've touched on there, Mark, Looked, look as though they can carry on now towards the end of the season by and large. Well, they, they do. We have Sir Graham Webb, we've, we've touched on, he's still handicaps at the moment, but the chances are he will be competing in probably group races next season. Mm. Van Ellis has already done that progression, yeah. hasn't he? He's gone from winning a Skybet Dash at York to be winning a, a pattern race at Chester. Uh, Prussian, it wouldn't be a big shock if she ends up being a possible listed performer in time, the way she's thriving at the moment. So it's all about progression, how far they can come. But all those horses on that list, they've more than done their bit. They've all had hectic seasons, but they've just thrived on the racing. Yeah, without a doubt. And they've contributed to what has been another very memorable campaign for Mark Johnston, who is a strike rate overall and a scoring rate is just phenomenal. It, it is. I think was it 42 winners in August. We, we discussed yeah. this um, the other week. That was that's just a, a fantastic achievement in one month. A lot of talk in July that the yard weren't firing on cylinders. They haven't half turned the corner since. Yeah, I think they had a few little problems then in in, in July. And Mark, not surprisingly, was was frustrated. I think there was a few foot problems and one or two other little. But um, the bounce back, bounce back with a vengeance. Yeah, and, and the, the, the two-year-olds have uh, they've they've been pretty good as well. Heavy metal. Yeah. They won at Goodwood. Steeler we saw win at Goodwood recently as well. He he looks a progressive horse. He could be even better when he goes over a mile mm. as well. Um, Bailey's Jubilee, the filly as well, who, who was ready early doors. She's running out in France. So, she, you know, the, the the juveniles they've done their bit as well. Yeah, I think there's just a chance um, from memory that from the interview I did with Mark that Steeler could well go to um, to Ireland this weekend. I think he was saying, but the Royal Lodge certainly is on his uh, radar too. So plenty to look forward to for the uh, Midland trainer in uh, the coming weeks and no doubt months as well.